Atishi is set to become the new chief minister of Delhi. This change comes after Arvind Kejriwal announced his resignation from the position. Kejriwal has promised to step down until the public elect him again. Atishi was chosen for the role in a recent Aam Aadmi Party meeting and will lead Delhi until the assembly elections in February next year. So what does this mean for Kejriwal's salary and benefits? I am Vishal Upadhyay and you are watching India TV. Let's find out. In the past year, Delhi saw a significant increase in the salaries and allowances for MLAs, ministers and the chief minister. For the first time in 12 years, the pay went up by quite a bit. MLAs, their basic salary is now Rs 30,000 per month, up from Rs 12,000. Ministers and chief ministers, their basic salary is now Rs 60,000, a big jump from Rs 30,000. Including allowances, a minister or chief minister receive Rs 170,000 per month. This total includes Basic salary 60,000, election allowance 30,000, secretariat allowance 25,000, guest expenses 10,000, daily allowance 1,500 for every working day. For MLAs, the total salary with allowances amounts to Rs 9,000 per month. Basic salary 30,000, election allowance 25,000, secretariat allowance 15,000, travel allowance 10,000, telephone allowance 10,000, daily allowance 1,500 for up to 40 days a year. Since Kejriwal will no longer be the chief minister, his monthly earnings will drop from Rs 1,70,000 to Rs 90,000 and he will lose that daily allowance. What about other facilities? As chief minister, Kejriwal enjoyed several perks that MLAs do not. Government vehicle and petrol. 700 litres of free petrol per month or a Rs 10,000 allowance if using a personal vehicle. Loans. Up to Rs 12 lakh for purchasing a vehicle. Free utilities. 5,000 units of electricity per month. For MLAs, the benefits are more modest. Free utilities, up to Rs 4,000 for electricity and water. Loan, up to Rs 8 lakh. However, some benefits will continue for Kejriwal even as an MLA. Data entry operator salary, Rs 30,000 per month for supporting staff. Travel allowance, up to Rs 1 lakh annually for travel across the country. So while Kejriwal will miss out on several perks and a higher salary, he will still have some benefits as an MLA. What are your thoughts on this? Do let us know in the comments and keep watching India TV for more updates.